All right, today we're talking about conjugating verbs in Spanish. This is the first part of that. We are only talking about present tense, indicative mood, and regular verbs. So this is only the present tense, not past tense, not future tense. That will be learned later. The mood is the indicative mood, as opposed to, for example, the imperative mood where you're commanding someone to do something. Indicative mood, mood just means that you're indicating something that's happening. And then these are regular verbs as opposed to irregular verbs, which don't quite follow the same patterns. So the, mo the majority of verbs in Spanish are regular verbs, which means they get conjugated uh, in a very uh, clearly, clearly defined manner. And uh, some of the most important verbs, however, are irregular, and we will talk about those in a different lesson. So to conjugate verbs, let's just talk a little bit in English about what it means to conjugate verbs. To conjugate a verb means to change it so that it matches the subject, the tense, and the mood of the sentence. For example, in English, to help, that's the verb in the infinitive form. Notice an infinitive has to in front of it in English. So to help, to run, to play, to hide, etc. When I say that, I'm not conjugating it, which means I am, I'm not telling you what the subject is or the tense or the mood or anything like that. So if I wanted to say in English, if I wanted to use the present tense indicative mood, I would say in the first person, I would say I help. Second person would be you help. Third person would be Billy helps. First person plural would be we help. It includes me. I say I and someone else help. Again, these are present tense, indicative mood. And notice I'm changing the different persons, whether they're singular or plural, first, second, or third person. You all help and they help. Notice something that of these conjugated verbs, really only one of them is different and it's the third person singular in the present tense. For a regular verb in English, the third person singular is slightly changed from the other one. So there's really not a lot when you're conjugating in English that you don't change the verb very much. Spanish is way different. When you're conjugating verbs in Spanish, first of all, there's three different types of infinitives, ER verbs, I'm sorry, AR verbs, ER verbs, and IR verbs. And to conjugate them, you need to follow patterns for changing the endings of the verbs. Here are some examples. I'm going to share an example of an AR verb, an example of an ER, and an example of an IR. And I'm changing the subjects, but I'm basically doing first, second, and third person, singular, and plural. But the subjects or the subject pronouns are changing. So, for example, an AR verb example is ayudar, which means to help. If I want to say I help, I say yo ayudo. I help. Yo ayudo. If I want to say you help, second person singular, tu ayudas. Tu ayudas. You help. If I want to say he or she helps or Billy helps, for example, I'd say Billy ayuda. Billy helps. Billy Ayuda. If I wanted to say we help, notice this is first person plural. We help would be ayudamos or nosotros, which means we. Nosotros ayudamos. In Spain, they use vosotros, which means y'all. It's kind of like saying you all. It's an informal plural, second person. So you're talking to more than one person in a familiar tone. Vosotros ayudáis is how you would say it. And finally, ellos ayudan, they help, ellos ayudan. Let's look at an ER verb. For example, we are going to use the verb comer, which means to eat. Yo como would mean I eat. Tu comes is you eat. Ella come, she eats. Mamá y yo comemos, mom, mom and I eat. Vosotras comáis, y'all eat in Spain, or Juan y Jose comen, Juan and Jose eat. Notice I changed some of the subjects here, but they're still third person, singular, Billy or Aya, Billy or she, that's someone else, it's not me, it's not you, it's one other person, ella come. Nosotros, for first person, plural, 
Notice I used instead of the, the subject pronoun nosotros, I used mom and I. But the verb still has to be conjugated to agree with the subject, which is first person plural, mom and I. Vosotras would be if you're talking to a bunch of girls in the familiar tone, plural. And then again, ellos could be, ellos is the subject pronoun, meaning they, but you could also say Juan y Jose, comen. All right, let's look at an IR verb. I think you're noticing a pattern here. Abrir, which means to open. Yo abro, I open. Tu abres, you open. La puerta abre, the door opens. El y yo abrimos, he and I open. El y tu abris, he and you open. Again, only used in Spain. And ellas abren, they open. Notice I mentioned that the vosotros form is only used um, in some parts of Spain. It's not even used everywhere in Spain. And we will uh, leave that lesson for later and we won't practice it now, but I feel it's important for me to at least teach it to you when I'm teaching you how to conjugate verbs in Spanish. So we won't use this second person plural because here in the United States, you don't hear too many people use the vosotros form. Most of the people are from Mexico or Puerto Rico, Cuba, Guatemala, Dominican. So usually uh, you won't hear the vosotros form. In fact, I'll just tell you right now, instead of saying vosotros or vosotras, they always use the third person plural form when they're talking to a bunch of people. So if you wanted to say, um, you guys help, you are helping, you'd say ayudan. Um, you'd say, you guys help a lot. Like if I was talking to my students, I would say, um, now, I don't have to say the subject pronoun, but I would say ustedes. Usted is the formal way to address somebody. And again, I'm going to teach you that stuff later, more about the subject pronouns. This isn't so much about the subject pronouns. It's more, more about conjugating the verbs. But since I'm mentioning pronouns, I'll also mention this. You'll notice that in English, since we're moving a lot, we're changing our, um, uh, rather, we, we don't conjugate the verbs very much. That necessitates the use of the subject every time. You can't say eat. You can't just say eat, meaning I eat, because you don't know who you're talking about. If you say eat, do you mean I, you, we, you all, or they? You don't know who you're referring to. So you always have to use the subject in English. But in Spanish, because the verb changes so, so much when you're conjugating it based upon the subject, you don't even need to use the subject and people will know what you're talking about. For instance, if I just said, ayudo mucho, uh, that means I help a lot. Ayudo mucho. I don't have to say yo in front of ayudo. Or I could say, ayudas tu mamá? Do you help your mom? I don't have to say tu. I don't have to put the subject pronoun in there. And if I'm talking about Billy, you know I'm talking about Billy. I don't have to say his name when I say ayuda mucho. If I'm talking about Billy, I could just say ayuda mucho. And you know I'm talking about Billy. So um, in Spanish, the conjugations might be a little bit new to people that don't that uh, only speak English. But you'll get the hang of them. And really, more than anything, I want you to know what sounds right when you're using these words. The more you practice, the more you understand. Let's go ahead and talk about the pattern here. If you noticed, you'll notice that whenever you're talking... In the first person singular, it ends in an O. See all those O's? So if it ends in an O, you know you're talking about yourself. If it ends in an S, an A-S or an E-S, it means you're referring directly to somebody. If it ends in an, if the R just comes off, I'm sorry, I take that back. For the, you'll notice that the IR verbs are, resemble the ER verbs a lot, except in these two uh, places right here, in the we form and the you all form you all familiar form. So you'll notice that when I'm conjugating these verbs, um, I take the R off for the AR and ER verbs to talk about a singular person other than me or you, third person singular. I take the R off, but in the IR verb, I change the I to an E instead. In the we form, you'll notice all I do is take the R off and add an MOS. Ayudamos, comemos, abrimos. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. You'll also notice that in the 
vosotros form, the accent, the AR verbs have the A accented, the ER verbs have the E's accented, and the IR verbs have the I accented, and they always end in IS. And finally, you'll notice that in the third person plural form, they all end in an N. All right, so let's practice. Let's see if you guys can get these. We'll practice several examples. And all I want you to do is give me the correct conjugation of the verb based upon the subject. And I'll do the first for you. I answer, I'm even giving you the verbs there so you don't have to look them up. I answer would be contesto, contesto. We arrive would be llegamos. You buy would be compras. You don't have to say tu, you can just say compras. They clean would be limpian. She cooks would be cocina. He cuts would be corta. I dance would be bailo. We decide would be decidimos. They describe would be describen. We drink would be bebemos. Billy and I eat would be, it's a little trickier, but notice it's Billy and I, so that's like we. That is third person plural. So I, I'm sorry, first person plural. So I would say comemos. You enter would be entras. He finishes would be termina. All right, you try these. Bob and John help. Again, Bob and John, you don't have to say Bobby John. You can. But you don't have to say the subject, but how would the verb be conjugated? It would be ayudan. The girls jump. Saltan. Las chicas saltan. The boys and I learn. Los chicos y yo Aprendemos. I listen. Yo escucho. Good. Sam looks for. Sam busca. The house needs. La casa necesita. The house needs new shutters. It opens. It is third person singular. So just like Billy opens, you would say abre. It opens. By the way, there is no word, really. There's no subject pronoun for the word it in Spanish. You just say abre, what, and, and people understand what you're talking about. Or you state the subject again, like la ventana, the, the window. La ventana abre. Or you can just say abre. We practice. Practicamos. You read. You singular would be tu Leyes. Notice you pronounce both vowels. They are not one sound. They're two syllables. Leyes. They sing. Ellos or ellas cantan. I study. Yo estudio. You take. Whoops, that's wrong. It shouldn't say tomo. It should say tomas. Good job. That was a mistake there. We live. Vivimos. All right, good job. Check out the other uh, uh, assignments I have that will help you practice. Uh, Conjugamos is a great place to go to practice conjugating verbs uh, based upon the subjects given.